I'm James Parker, and this is Florida Story. Uh, this is this is out of Florida. They found a box in a weather balloon, and the, the confounding part is they pretend to not know what's in it. All right, so here. The weather balloon was first spotted over the ocean far from the shoreline. And it didn't take very long before it actually came ashore, and it was attached to something small that looked like a styrofoam cooler. The witness also told News for Jax that the balloon and its attachment caught the attention of a group of surfers who followed the balloon to this sand dune. The surfers uh, all gathered around and was going to open it, and this guy came kind of running down the beach and was like, get away, get away. The man the witness was describing is believed to be the person who called 911 to report a suspicious box attached to a weather balloon that had just landed on the beach. Based on this picture of the box, it does not appear to have any label identifying it as a meteorology instrument or device used to study weather. It had like a little uh, orangey-yellow flag on it and then it was uh, strapped I think it was like a little black strap that looked like it was around a, a like I said a styrofoam cooler so far no one has come forward and said they owned the balloon and it's still unclear as to where the balloon was launched from now are you thinking what I'm I'm sure you're thinking what I'm thinking we know what was in there it's Florida what people trying to sneak stuff in the Florida what is it usually it's probably drugs isn't it Ollie G, do you have any guesses on what could be in the box? We all know that it's called the bionic, the bomb, the puff, the blow, the black, the herb, the sensi, the chronic, the sweet Mary Jane, ganja, spliff, reefer, the bad, the Buddha, the homegrown, the ill, the Maui Maui, the method, pot, lethal, turbo, Thai, shake, skunk, stress, wacky, weed, blaze, the boot, dime bag, scooby-doo, bob, bogey, backyard boogie. But what is the other terms for it? Exactly. It, uh, look, I, do you not want to say drugs on, on TV, news anchor? You're in Florida, you're, and you do the news in Florida. Half of your show is drug-related every day. Well, you, you can't even throw that in the speculation. I, I don't know. It could be, could, be a, could be a transmitter. could be a weather sensor. It could be drugs. Like no one's tried to sneak cocaine into Florida before. Like we haven't seen many series about the cocaine cowboys and narcos and all these other shows, Scarface, about them sneaking... You don't think it, someone's trying to sneak something into Florida from the ocean. What do you automatically, what do you, I'm talking to you person listening, what do you automatically assume it is? Drugs, right? Drugs. All right. So, all right, Parker, you're, 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 you're boning out of proportion. They just did like a little two minute news report. They can't squeeze in all the speculation. Oh no. Oh no. After I already had this thought, they go away from the package and then they have like a little discussion at the tables with like the meteorologist guy and jeepers guys, what could it be? So they talk for another, what is this, minute and 20 seconds? Nobody brings up drugs. And this is in Florida. This isn't like the local convent. This is Florida. They're probably stepping over drugs every time they go to the vending machine. Wow. Well, Mark's here now. Mark, you know about weather balloons. Yeah. Could this have been, I don't know something different or where did it come from Drugs. it's identical to a weather balloon the mystery is that there's no weather noah markings on there usually the weather balloons are about five feet in diameter similar to that 75 long string no one cares about the balloon dude it's the box what's in the box and it really was just like this crappy igloo cooler that looks like someone duct taped it up and they're like there's a wire with an orange flag yeah it's like one of those little things that they put when they're marking the gas lines in their in your yard and probably so if it lands in the ocean or lands in tall grass it'll be more easily seen by who whoever's job it is to come pick up their drugs anyway let me they'll continue 75 foot long string there were two weather balloons launched today down at cape kennedy uh cape, in cape canaveral and they were launched at 6 a.m and then another one at 11. no one cares the upper level winds were from south to north yeah we don't care about cape canaveral or cape kennedy these were launched from cape drugs is where they were launched from Stop pretending like, well, I don't, I don't, it could be anything. Possible that it is a, a uh, Air Force weather balloon that no. wouldn't have a NOAA marking on it. But the Raywind songs are the instrument packages that dangle, and they record pressure, winds, and moisture as they ascend. In right, the and, and when, you, when you have this delicate, precise scientific equipment, what you usually like to do is duct tape it into an igloo cooler? No! Ones that I looked at today when I was high as 10 miles in the sky don't care how high before went, they nerd. ruptured. And so when they rupture, they fall down. Oh, it could have 
have been that as they were falling, the easterly winds then blew them back. Just say uh, drugs. Close to our Somebody area. say drugs, so please. That's the plausible option. Maybe a university was doing something like that. Drugs. But for China, no, not the right wind no, direction. No, so <laughs> no. you, you didn't say UFO either. I so did not. We're, <laughs> we're good there, but it would be startling seeing that out. Yeah, of the it could. Be, yeah, sure, shut up. Yeah. Try to be nerds. It could be scientists. It could be. Uh, NOAA, it could be the Air Force. They speculated it might be China. They, were, they even threw in the possibility that it was a UFO. Not a brick of cocaine. Not drugs. That, uh, what, why does that drive me so insane? Dude, none of y'all even threw it out. It's just maybe one of the options. Just maybe throw it in there. That, can you believe it? Someone's trying to sneak cocaine into, into Florida? I bet you one of those four people on the news are, are, are on cocaine right now. They did the morning show, and what is it, like four, almost five in the afternoon? They're, they're doing it right now, probably. One of those people pretending like, ah, jeepers, we may never get to the bottom of this mystery on why someone would strap up an igloo cooler, duct tape it, and throw it on the bottom of a balloon to float it into Florida. Wait. Hold my beer. What? Hold my beer. Hold my beer. Hey, what? Florida Stories is produced by Spring Rock. Follow me on Twitter, at Florida Stories J. I'm James Parker, and this is Florida Stories.